Um, my name is Don Liswan. I'm founder of the Canary Foundation. Canary is an organization that's dedicated to work in the scientific community for early cancer detection. And this project started almost a decade ago after my mother was misdiagnosed with ovarian cancer. And her doctor um, sadly gave her antibiotics for an infection which they thought she had and it turns out it was a very large piece of stage 4 ovarian cancer pressing on her and she died a year later. As I began to get involved to see whether I could help in this particular problem, it became very clear that in most cancers, if you find them early, you can live nine times out of ten, and if you find them late, you die nine times out of ten. So we began a national initiative to try to build cancer early detection technologies, which we could ultimately bring into the clinic with industry to deliver to patients. It's unique, I think, in probably two core ways. One is, our vision is to deliver a blood test followed by an advanced imaging test. And we structure all of our research in a way that says that's going to be a pair of tests and try to get people from different research communities to work together. And that's quite rare in the scientific community where we're really trying to deliver something that ultimately goes into the clinic. The second thing is we have a business model for trying to achieve this which starts with philanthropic support but then goes with expanded research from support from the government and then ultimately pull through from industry. So our goal is to get these things in the clinic and what we want to do is to spawn programs that then expand with government support and ultimately are brought to you in the clinic by industry. Well, our vision is that we will be able to, over the next decade, deliver on that pipeline for all solid tumors. So ovarian, pancreatic, lung, prostate, breast, colon, brain, um, where we have these two test regimens, the blood test followed by the imaging test, which are in clinics and offered as a service by Medicare and by your, your local hospital, so that if you are at least in a high-risk community, you can routinely get these tests to see whether or not you have early onset cancer and doctors can go do something about it. Well, to date it's been 10 years of investment and what we've achieved is really the following. We have four teams that have been structured that are focused on different cancers. So right now that's ovary cancer, that's never smoker lung cancer, so someone who's never smoked which is largely a woman's disease, as it turns out. Three quarters of these people are women. Um, we have pancreatic cancer, which is just a really terrible killer. And prostate cancer, where the question we're trying to answer is not whether you have it, but whether you have a kind that's very aggressive and might kill you, therefore you can aggressively treat it. So we've managed to build those four teams. We'd like to build more. But all of those are multi-institutional teams that have come to fruition over the last decade. In addition, a big investment that we've made with the community and with Stanford is what's called the Canary Center at Stanford, where we are right now. And um, this was a partnership with the Department of Radiology and the School of Medicine as well as the university in trying to build a research center that's trying to conceive of the problem in the same business context that we're trying to solve it. And by that I mean we have researchers that are researching in the blood side of the equation as well as the imaging side and also doing other things such as mathematical modeling so we can understand do we need different underlying technologies to measure it, do the economics actually work if we have the science. So it's the only place in the world now that conceives of the problem in a way that can solve the problem and additionally solve it so that it can move with industry into the clinic.